Hey guys, Brian and Jeff with WorkshopAddict.com and we have the new Ingersoll Rand W7152 half inch drive impact wrench. This is part of their IQV 20 series. And that just means that it's running on a 20 volt battery, just like the DeWalt series, 20 volt max, but it's actually an 18 volt battery. An Ingersoll Rand right now has a 5.0 amp hour max battery on the bottom of this and I know everybody's going bigger. But bigger isn't always better. No, it would be nice to see them move up to maybe the 21700 6 amp hour pack, similar to what Milwaukee's doing. We haven't seen too many of those in the shop, but they're just a little bit bigger battery, a little more power, as this thing is a beast. Yeah, and when you're talking about a tool of this size, you've already added weight to it. You're talking about adding a bigger battery, and they add more weight, right? A little bit. The packs are just a little bit longer, a little bit wider, but still a lot more power, a lot more runtime. And if you're you working need on need more power with this, if you're working on a semi truck like what we did on this, uh, when we got through taking off the first set of lugs, we were down one bar. Granted, it came back up initially, but this thing ran through it. And if you're working on a whole train, that little bit extra. Yeah, it might get you through that. 40 second tire. <laughs> <laughs> Still, either way guys, we work to prove to you that this thing really has what they claim. And they claim that it has 1,500 foot pounds of nut busting torque. And everybody throws nut busting torque all over there. So just forget it. Realistically, this is about a thousand foot pound unit in reverse. So yeah. that's telling us what? 750 forward yeah. ish. It's kind of hard to find a torque wrench in our box to test that period. That's right. When we were putting on the lugs uh, back on the semi truck, we tested them. We had a 650 foot pound max torque wrench and everything hit at that point. So it'll at least do that. Yeah. And, and if, I mean, how many other applications are you going to need more than that in your typical day to day operation? The biggest issue that we found is finding a socket for it. <laughs> half inch anvil. Right, so we're using adapters through all of our tests when we're getting into the bigger stuff like the semi truck. So it's pulling that stuff off with a half to three quarter adapter and that's sucking away power. True, but do you think that they'll ever come out with this same model three quarter anvil? It'd be nice, wouldn't it? But do you need it? Well, it'd be nice if you're working on those large bolts that you could just throw on that and three quarter instead inch. Instead of using the reducer, the, the reducer. adapter. Yep, right. and you'd get full power. Now, what I really dig about this unit, right off the bat, is that it's simple. When you turn around on the back, you have a very easy way of adjusting everything up. And they have some very common things that are used back here. You have a full circle that's painted white, full power. You have a circle that's painted half white, half gray half power, I mean, duh. And then you have a wrench on a nut. That's wrench tight. So pending what nut you're using, that's gonna be anywhere from 35 to 110 foot pounds. Now we So you still have to use a little bit of your own common out. It automatically shuts off if you let it go. Uh, we used it on a Ford Explorer that we changed some tires yes, in. Yes, and it was real, real close to the 90 foot pound mark. It, that was perfect. That's it, what it didn't get us completely to 90 on that application. We had to give it just a little bit, but it was bit. real close to it. Yeah. So that worked out great. Now it's all going to depend on the fastener as to where you get. But in that situation, um, we used first the hand tight. So this hand tight basically will get anything as tight as you could with your fingers. So it's nice for dropping a bolt on. Uh, getting it to the point where you don't want to go too tight, or even if you're working with something small like beadlock rims that are 20 foot pounds and you're like, okay, I just want to start to tighten things up. Yeah, the aluminum rims with your beadlocks, you don't want to. You don't want to over torque them. So yeah. this big <laughs> impact wrench that's fairly heavy can do some light duty tasks all with this button and back. And, and no offense to any of the, the Bluetooth stuff or anything, but I think for guys that are in a shop, ready to do something, you have this thing adjusted up. It's just seconds. so much easier, right. faster. Now you do have the full circle ring in front, and to adjust that, you just put this guy in neutral, forward and reverse right in the middle, and you can adjust the light to off in four different light settings. 
That too is nice because now you can turn the light off and it's all simple set. It's all cake and it doesn't take but seconds to adjust anything that you want. And that halo light really works nice because it shines past your socket to actually what you're working on. Is exactly. that shadowing it? No. The build quality is what I really dig on this. When you look at the aluminum up in front, inside here we can't see it. There's a steel reinforced frame. There's a lot to this, which makes it a little bit heavy, but the power. And when we talk about power, we're going to show you something here and just, just playing around what happens. So check this out. One, two, three. I'm taking you were, school. Yeah, you were. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Totally hey, taking you got a chance. School. Do this. Let me start first, then you hit your trigger. Okay. One, two, three, go. Got it. Totally take it to school. No kidding. Now, clearly the Milwaukee in that shot was used quite a bit. So we thought for you guys that might think, well, we're pulling something over on you. We grabbed one new one out of the box and did the same thing. Check that out. One, two, pull. What way were you going? Do it again. And I'm going this way. What way was it going? That way, I was winning. You were winning? Yeah. So what does that mean? So even if we let the Milwaukee start first, the Ingersoll Rand still took over. Even if we went to the new one key model that was set up for full power, the Ingersoll Rand still took over. That doesn't tell us a whole lot other than it was fun to watch. Fun it was to fun do. to watch, yeah, it was fun <laughs> to do. And, and we basically put a bunch of uh, sockets together really tight that were a pain in the ass to get apart. Yeah, and they might not be any good. <laughs> Other than that, there's a lot of power here. And that, that's really what it comes down to. If you're looking for something and you are in the Ingersoll Rand line and you want a very nice tool that's gonna last quite a bit of time, it's here. If you're worried about power against Milwaukee, maybe, we proved it to you that it has more. We don't have the tools to physically go out and say, here's a thousand foot pounds. One got to 988, and one got to 1057. We can't do that. No. Uh, but these two, out of the two using them, they feel both very powerful. This one might have an edge on it, especially when you're using an adapter. So that probably tells us that it does have more power but it also has a lot more size Yeah, when you look at it. And it is a little bit heavier. So either way, I think it comes down to battery platform. Where are you at? And how much do you need? You know, if you're a mechanic in the shop, Ingersoll Rand makes a lot of different tools for you. You probably already have quite a few of them. So this would be a definite uh, plus to your toolbox. It's a huge upgrade from yeah. where they were at, at the last large 7,000 series model. So if you guys are looking for it, it's out, search around as it's just coming out. There's gonna be probably some better deals on it coming out a little bit later. We're gonna to go to SEMA with Ingersoll Rand and we want you to check that out. We're gonna to try to bring you some more tool news as to what's happening there. So look for that stuff on social media sometime around October 31st. Also, make sure that you subscribe to this channel because we have a lot of giveaways. So make sure your notifications are on. We have a lot of stuff going on. We appreciate it. Those thumbs up are always appreciated also. Have a great day, guys.